let's review hypothesis testing for proportion using rejection region approach I will abbreviate rejection region by RR okay now recall um, we talked about the p-value approach for doing that that is hypothesis testing for pi recall the example we considered the statement was more than 70 percent of all falls due to transmission line caused by lightning in that case recall our alternative hypothesis was p greater than 0.7 null hypothesis was p equals to 0.7 and then what we did that is our step one the formulation then we calculated test statistic in step two which is given by z distribution will be normal p hat minus p naught divided by square root okay i believe your textbook has notation or we consider notation pi so pi hat minus pi naught square root pi naught 1 minus pi naught divided by n and we computed it to be 1.70 then in step 3 we calculated p value p value is the probability z greater than 1.7 why greater because this is greater in alternative hypothesis and of course this is the one minus probability z less than 1.70 and this number from the table was what 0.9554 and that gave you the p-value of 0 0.0446 next what you did step four you take a decision right compare p-value with alpha p-value is 0 0.0446 alpha say 0 0.01 so p-value in this case is greater than alpha so con we make the decision that we do not reject null hypothesis at this value of alpha 0 0.01 then of course the last step you write a statement at 1% significance level we do not believe that more than 70 percent of all faults in transmission line caused by lightning so we already have seen that this is our conclusion okay now rejection region approach now this time let's talk about rejection region approach in this thing you have to do those earlier steps one two formulation then test statistic as before no change but steps three and four will now be replaced by say step 3 star in that case you compute the rejection region right and recall your alternative hypothesis was with the greater than sign so rejection region will be greater than sign z greater than z alpha 
now alpha is 0 0.01 and you have to look up z.01 you remember the normal curve if this is 0 0.01 this is 0 0.99 you look up the table backward you will get this value 2.33 so rejection region is z greater than 2.33 what you do with this rejection region so modified step 4 4 star this is your rejection region the graph of it 2.33 and z greater than 2.33 is the rejection region and the statistic value does not fall in the rejection region so do not reject null hypothesis add this value of 0 0.01 and step 5 will be same as before step 5 right same as before so you see that this is how we do the rejection region approach so note that the result you got from p value approach will be same as rejection region approach.